Now, first on the Western Slope, you're watching KREX 5 News at 10 p.m. Good evening and thanks for watching KREX 5 News at 10 p.m. I'm Austin Sack. We begin tonight with breaking news. Tonight's rain showers have caused I-70 eastbound to close at Palisade due to a mudslide. At last update, westbound is open. Flooding and mudslides are also reported on Highway 65 near I-70 and Mesa County Sheriff's Office is asking everyone to please avoid this area. KREX 5's Chance Stickling is live from Palisade reporting on the current road conditions. The rain has caused ongoing flooding and mudslides on I-70 and our reporter is near the area in Palisade. What's the situation, Chance? Austin, that's right. I'm live out here on I-70 in a monsoon, but I'm having fun. I-70 eastbound is closed right now between exit 42, which is Palisade, and exit 49, which is where I'm roughly standing around the 47, 48 mark. As you can see, crews behind me are trying to clear up the roads on the interstate. Uh, people are stalked, or stalled, I guess, for that matter, at exit 47, waiting to see when they will be coming back. I've actually got a... Okay, actually, I need to be moved right now. CDOT officials are telling me I need to be moved so they can clear the roads. But reporting live on I-70 and first on the Western Slope, I'm Chance Sicklin with KREX 5 News, and we will bring you updates as soon as possible. Austin, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Chance. We now take a look at a video courtesy of CDOT from Saturday of crews cleaning I-70. As of 1 p.m. this afternoon, CDOT has issued a flash flood watch in the Glenland Canyon area. This watch has now resulted in the closure of I-70 through Glenwood Canyon. I-70 in Glenwood Canyon is closed at exit 87 West Rifle, exit 109 Canyon Creek, exit 116 Glenwood Springs, and exit 133 in Dot Cerro. Due to flash flood potential for the Grizzly Creek burn scar, if you are traveling through this area, please drive safe. Following road closures, take a look at this photo posted on CDOT's Facebook page from Saturday. Of US 6 and Loveland Pass, the road was closed most of the day so crews could clean up a mudslide last night near A Basin. US 6 and Loveland Pass was expected to reopen Saturday afternoon, but due to the amount of debris and mud flow, another cleanup day was required. KREX 5 News will continue to update you on road reopenings as they occur. Flash flood warnings are not... Flash flood warnings are not the only thing closing I-70 earlier today. Colorado State Patrol and Eagle announced I-70 is closed between Eagle and Gibson due to wildfire behavior. Take a look at this video courtesy of the Colorado State Patrol in Eagle, Colorado. A new wildfire between Eagle and Gibson has caused I-70 to close in that area. At last update, I-70 eastbound is now open. Erratic fire behavior and strong winds are pushing the fire east running along the interstate. Other road closures in the Eagle and Gibson area are expected, and we will continue to update you with more information on this fire as it becomes available. Another wildfire in Colorado, the Morgan Creek Fire north of Steamboat Springs continues to grow. On Friday, the Morgan Creek Fire was 4% contained. Now, with the help of the Rocky Mount Incident Management Team, the fire has seen minimal growth and is now at 7% containment. The lightning caused wildfire has burned 5,666 acres and the fire started on July 9th. Fire crews are working tirelessly to gain more containment on the Morgan Creek fire, while other fires in the state are over 50% containment. Just south of the Morgan Creek fire, the Muddy Slide fire, the fire remains at 4,093 acres and is 70% 70 70 contained. There are 69 personnel assigned to the fire, and crews will continue to patrol the area searching for any remaining pockets of heat. Fires aren't just torching the western slope. Hot and dry conditions have caused crews to battle another fire blazing in California. We now take a look at this video. Flames shot hundreds of feet into the air as the Dixie Fire rages on in California. The blaze is blamed for destroying 20 to 30 structures in the area. Fire crews say only a few homes were saved as propane tanks could be heard exploding, leading to loud booms in the area. Visibility on roadways is also dangerously low as smoke fills the area. With ongoing severe drought conditions, there is a voluntary fishing closure. This closure is along sections of the Eagle and Roaring Forks rivers. Starting from Friday, CBW says is asking anglers to voluntarily avoid fishing and af at afternoon hours because of the warm water temps and low stream flows. The specific closure sections are on the Eagle River from Wolcott, the Highway 131 bridge, 
downstream to the Colorado River about 13 miles, and Roaring Fork River, Carbondale, the Highway 133 bridge, downstream to Col the Colorado River about 25 miles. Severe drought conditions and low water levels are not just affecting the tackle and bait industry, but also how Mesa County residents choose to spend their time outdoors. Kerry X5's Chance Stickling caught up with a local river supply company to see how it's affected business. 